normal girl, heavy box, doesn't know what to do. Oh. Yay, pom poms! Let's be a scarf. Hello, welcome. So today we're gonna be doing an art studio, apartment, home office, everything combined in the middle, makeover and tour at the end of the video. So if you're new here, hi, I'm Tiffany. I am recently turned 23 and now considered old by a lot of young TikTokers. I am a self-employed illustrator and designer and I've been working at home, like many of you, because of COVID uh, for... Well, I've been working here for about like six months now. So a little timeline of my journey here. I moved into this apartment about a year ago and at the time I was working full time. So I didn't really have a lot of extra, I guess, time to work on my own things at home in my like art studio. So it was literally just a foldable table and a foldable chair that I brought from my parents' house. It never really felt like home for the longest time. So fast forward, I ended up leaving my job after a year to pursue my full-time self-employed life. I went back home, I brought over another foldable table because we can't have enough foldable tables in this apartment. And then I ended up creating a setup where I was kind of pleased with it, but I wasn't fully pleased. It still didn't really feel like mine. Um, I wasn't really filling the space up enough with things that made me feel passionate and creative for what I did Which is really important if you have your own studio space try to decorate it to make it feel like you Like it doesn't have to be cluttered, but it can just feel like you Something that drives you to work every single day wake up and want to go into your studio And so for a long time, I just really wanted to you know make it mine and so I finally did it because why not? Like, why not? There's no reason not to. <laughs> um, I just want to quickly like pop into frame some of my favorite apartment or just living space aesthetics. And I know my apartment looks nothing like it, but we are out here, we are 23. We don't have that extra money to buy all these cool furnitures. So we just gotta make do with what we have. Um, but yeah, I'm really into like this type of style of living spaces and maybe one day when I get a house and I'm more willing to shell out all of my money on furniture and nice things, maybe it'll look this cute. But till then, we're gonna have to work on just living with a college level decor style, but leveled up because I bought picture frames for the first time and yeah. Also, I would like to thank FlexiSpot for sponsoring this video. I worked with them in the past and they're really lovely people. I really like their products and I'll talk more about them in the video. Let's go. Let's let's just let's go. This is the current layout of my studio. Um, as you can tell, it's kind of a mess because I don't think I have enough storage space. Like everything's just out in the open and I just need to fix that. Maybe I should put some of this stuff up there so that I have more table space and less junk. I definitely need storage down there so that I can store things. I'm thinking of revamping this wall because right now the problem with this is the colors are all cohesive but I have so many small things that it makes it just look more cluttered. And then up here I kind of want to reduce all the clutter like it looks cute but then from far away it's just a lot of stuff. For this empty wall right here, I kind of want to drill little hanging like wall hanger thingies and then I can hang up like that sweater or some hats, some nice purses or whatever so it looks less empty. So I think what I'm gonna try to do here is focus on putting more things on the wall, hanging them on the wall and reducing the clutter. Cause I mean, this works now, but it just looks so messy all the time. I've been trying to find posters or just like wall decor for the past like three hours. And I finally settled on these two. They're gonna be like 18 by 24, so they're pretty big. I chose these two because 
They're pretty simple designs, but at the same time, like the textures and the shapes just are so natural and so nice. Yeah, and there's a sale going on today, so I might as well just buy it. And I was also planning on buying this or some sort of wall hanging fixture so that I could put like plants on it. I actually was testing out like layouts and this is what I came up with so far. It's still a little bit bland, but we're, we're working on it, okay? So I would just put the Plantasia poster there, the wall hanging thing shelf there. And I also have this fake plant thing that I got for a class, like back when I was in college. And then these are just some like miniature posters that I already own. Um, don't look at the mess down there, but that's kind of the goal. I'm, I'm gonna definitely add more to this. It's just, this is what I have so far. There was a knock on my door, and then I saw this. Doesn't know what to do. Ugh. <laughs> it's okay, small girl strong. <gasps> no way. Did they read my mind? Cause they gifted me an all white one. This is so, I wanted an all white one. tell that this is gonna be so much easier to assemble than the one that I had before because everything on the bottom is already pre-screwed in so this is just like I think I just attach a few parts and then it's it's ready so that's, that's nice Pretty much done building it, but I just wanted to show you this pretty shadow. <gasps> Oh, I'm so proud of myself. I always feel so good after I build something because it's like I'm a strong, capable, independent woman that don't need no help. Hi. Let's talk about flexi spot. So I want to talk about my two different flexi spot desks that they sent me. The first one I got is the EN1 desk and this one is the Vici desk. So this is my first desk. It is the EN1 from Flexi Spot and what I like about this table is that you can actually choose different options for the tabletop and the legs so they have like white black and they have some wood finishes um, for the legs you can do white black and they also have like gray i have this keypad which is a little bit more upgraded from the one i have on the vici right now but this one has the basic like up and down and you can also set three different presets. For example, number three on mine is standing. So it just kind of rises to the preset number of heights. And as much as I love the EN1 desk, 
This one, their Vici Dusk, is also really nice. It comes in black or white, and I have to say, the all white appearance makes it super pretty. Like, this would be great for photographing things, just like with the plain white as the background. And the keypad on this one is the simple up and down. It doesn't have the presets, but I think this is enough for a standing desk because I don't really use the presets on the other one as much. Obviously, I love both of these desks a lot. Like, it really saves me when I get tired of sitting. And, I mean, if you live alone, I recommend getting the Vici desk because it's so easy to assemble. And it takes, like, half the time off of assembly. That one took me a while and I had to actually ask my boyfriend to come help me because it was too heavy. But this one, I got it done in, like, less than 10 minutes. So, yeah. Back to the video! This cord, this cord situation is no. I need to, I need to tuck this behind somewhere. It looks so bad right now. This is as much as I can do today, cause I'm still waiting for a lot of storage boxes and like the drawers that I bought to come in and I can't really clean up until I have those because there's just nowhere to put anything or store anything so I think I did I think I did a lot today I'm gonna just call it a day and I'll keep I'll keep decorating soon bought this wall hanger but I thought these would be a lot bigger I thought they would be like this big and also I don't think this comes with hanging mounts so this one right here I actually have to build it's the um, the metal drawer system that I got um, it's really really heavy though and I heard that this is really hard to build so I'm gonna have to figure that out <sighs> Wow, it took me a lot longer than I thought to finish this drawer, but I'm really happy with how it turned out. It involved a lot of metal bending with my fingers, so my fingers feel raw now. I decided to put it under there because I'm gonna put my art materials in there, and I usually make my art on this table. And I kind of think that because this area is so white now, it looked like it didn't match this side of the room, so I kind of drew the eye over here with white cabinets. So now the space looks a lot more cohesive in a way. All right, I think that's all I'm gonna do for tonight because it's freaking 60 degrees Fahrenheit right now and I'm really, really cold. Now I just wanna take a warm shower and crawl into bed. Um, just got my posters in 
if I can open this. Ooh. Ow. Why do I say ow when there was the poster that hit the table? Ooh. Ooh. These are nice. So this is the wall decor that I have so far and I got a mirror, I got these little hanging wooden shelves This was a good choice of putting this shelf right here because it's kind of low. Is that cute? Did I do a thing? Is it? I don't know. Do I like it? I think I'm gonna stop here today because I can't tell if it looks good or if it looks too cluttered. I don't know, I think I just need to step away from it a bit and not keep fussing. Yeah, I'll give it a few days and wait for my other prints to come. Good morning, I'm on my way to go thrifting. My goal is to get a few plants from the nursery to decorate my studio and then a few decorational piece that I could possibly thrift flip but like maybe painting on vases or stuff like that. I brought my giant jug of hand sanitizer. I'm back. I didn't really film at all in there. I only bought like three things or like three frames in there because I liked a lot of things but I usually don't buy it because I don't need it um, and usually when I go thrifting I I like to go just to look at things because I find inspiration in there so I took a lot of pictures of stuff I liked that I didn't need and maybe I'll do some drawings based off of them Let's do a proper haul of all the things that I got today. I was mainly aiming to find like um, like wall decor and like frames and stuff like that, but I ended up only finding frames, which is fine because I found really cute ones. So the first thing I got is this tiny frame. This was like one of the first things I laid my eyes on and I'm like, wow, that's cute. And it was 25 cents, so I got it. Um, next, I got just this simple rounded wooden frame, but I really like the detail on the inside where there's like pointy corners on the inside of the frame. So I wanted to get this frame. I want to say it's like more Victorian or just like decorative looking. Um, I've been online thrifting and I couldn't find anything and this was $5. I thought it was cute and I might paint it color, but I kind of like this greenish tone so I might just keep it as is. I'm planning on making like a pom-pom garland because those are really cute and I couldn't find one that was already made that I liked. So I bought pink and yellow yarn from Michaels and I'm gonna make some pom-pom garlands. I also bought this little boy out there. Um, I like to sometimes put my plants on this ledge just so that they get some sunlight. Um. So 
So I'm sitting my ass down to finish the rest of my DIY projects because if I don't do it now, I'll probably never do it. I'm like still making pom-poms for my pom-pom garland. I'm gonna make hopefully like two pom-pom garlands. Right now I'm working on painting the picture frames. So the more that I look at them, the more I don't wanna paint them. So I might keep this one the same and I might keep this one the same. But for this one, I started to fall in love with the wood pattern. Um, especially on the corner pieces. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tape along this like a uh, diagonal corner and this diagonal corner and then paint these parts. So I might do like pink and yellow. Oh, I get nervous when I paint things. Should be fine though because it's just a frame. <laughs> Wait a minute. No, that was your question. It was a question. It was a joke. Look, I know. It's okay. It's okay. Kama Sutra, does it suture? Velvet dress is slipping off. I have no idea what to put in this frame yet, so I'm gonna just stick it on the wall and decide what I'm gonna fill it with. Later on. Wow, frames really do make it look so much more adult than just sticking pictures on the wall with tape. It looks so more dimensional and beautiful. I'm ashamed of myself. I blew out the head of the screw, so now there's nothing for the screwdriver to cling on to. Okay, let's pretend that I didn't just mess it up and cover it up by hanging cute bags on it. Why don't we? Because no one's gonna know. Who's gonna know? Right? Who's gonna know? Unless one day this just falls on me, then that will suck. Don't it seem Carolina treats you better. I won't stay and I won't Cute. I'm kind of nervous about this falling, so I think I'm going to just put some light decorations on it and hope for the best. I have little Kermit sit right here. He's so dirty, I should give him a bath. Oh, that's cute. didn't just put on the same exact outfit from yesterday so that you thought that it's the same day when in reality it's the next day because I got a little bit too tired yesterday so I didn't finish all the DIYs. <sighs> Let's keep going! This is my plan for today. I'm going to finish this garland of pom-poms. I have all my pom-poms made. Um, they're laid out on the table. I'm gonna put all my pom-poms up I want to repot a lot of plants and paint on the pots because that's really fun. Wow, look at all the pom-poms. So for the pom-poms, I get these and I tie it on to just yarn. But I try to measure out the space in between each pom-pom so that it looks even because I don't want an uneven pom-pom. Okay, I kind of like how far apart these two are spaced out. I'm done. I'm gonna 
Okay, let me know if this looks good before I pin it into the wall. Does this look good? Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it, I only miss it every day. I need a Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it, I only miss it every day. I should have hung up frames ages ago. This is so cute. Look up at the sky, ask it why are you always so far? I've been meaning to repot this Monstera for a long time now. He's pretty much outgrown this pot way too long ago and he needs a bigger upgrade. So I went to Home Depot and bought this one. But I'm gonna paint it first somehow. What's my one mistake? Counting every day. No, I'm not okay. I just wanna say, babe. I need a face. Does it matter what you say? Cause now that I don't have it, I only miss it every day. I Why does it hurt so bad? So bad To lose something I never had Never had Are you a memory, lucid dream? Pinch me Will you come back? So for my Monstera plant, I decided to mimic the motifs from that poster just so that it kind of carries its way throughout the studio. Just some like, you know, cohesive theme thinking going on here. And then for this guy, I just did a simple star on him because I got lazy and it looked too naked so I just added, added a simple star. Now I'm low-key kind of tired because I was just moving things around, painting things, repotting things. I want to say that my studio is like 99% complete at this point. Um, I'm just waiting for a few last details. Don't know when they're coming in. I'll be back. Peace. The last piece for my studio makeover is here. Okay, this is cute! <laughs> so cute! Annabelle came out with these and I really want to support Annabelle because she's Annabelle and so I got one and now it's here and it has a little mirror in it and it just so happened to match like the motifs that are going around in my studio. Hello, you 
made it this far and here's the studio tour. That's it. That's all there is. I'm kidding. So once you enter my apartment, it's literally my studio. So I kind of wanted to make my entryway look kind of cute too because it's part of my studio. Um, this is where I just hang a lot of my tote bags that I use frequently for when I go to like get P.O. box mail or when I ship out orders and stuff like that. I just have a lot of cute patterns here and this is still wobbly but you know it works. It's fine. We're having a good time. So this area just has my shoes. This atrium plant that I bought recently and just a little bit of decor. Not not too special. I mean it's cute, but you know it's an entryway. This is the next part of my studio. It's a fireplace that I never use. It's just here and I mean it's cute I guess, but it's like I only use my heater, I only use the fireplace. There's a little switch that turns it on right here. And um, I guess it's kind of romantic, but I don't really feel any heat or anything. And on top of my fireplace, I have a lot of decorative pieces and plants because I love plants. Things that I've collected from artists that I love, either gifted or I bought them myself. So this is my order packing station. Um, if you don't know, I run my small little Etsy shop selling stickers and stationery and this is all I really need to pack my orders. Um, I have like really nice drawers and everything is like arm's length away so it makes packing orders really fast. It's a great layout for me, it works well for me, it makes my order packing very efficient. It's still on a foldable table because I don't know, something about foldable tables makes me really nostalgic for when I was younger and I would help my dad pack orders for his business. So it just kind of makes me feel like in the order packing mood. So I kind of like this being a foldable table. Maybe in the future I'll change it out, but right now it does the job and I like it. So I'm gonna keep it. So on my table, I have this paper cutter. It just makes cutting prints really speedy and it's just nice to have in a studio. I have some chipboard that USPS gives me because they back their stamps with so much chipboard that I just keep it and reuse it for when I ship out prints sometimes or originals. I always have a box of envelopes laying somewhere. These drawers hide what I do not want people to see on the table. This section is where I like to keep all of my stamps. Um, I have a lot of like thank you stamps, address stamps, date stamps, and decorative stamps going here. On top of that, this is where I keep all the current prints that I sell. I got this stand from Daiso and it's, I don't really know what it's made for, but it's really good for prints. I have a whole thing of washi tape right here, which I use to package orders. It's overflowing because a lot of people have been gifting me a lot of washi tape as well. I have this sticker dispenser down here that I made myself out of cardboard. I have a, a reel of it on my Instagram if you want to see how I make it, but this is because I didn't want to buy something to dispense my sticker, so I just made it and it works pretty well this way. And you can recycle the box after you're done using it. This section is where I keep all my stickers. Um, not much to say about that, like I just have stickers here and I taped it out on the outside so I know which stickers are where. It looks kind of messy, but I mean, it's it's fine. It works well for me. This is where I keep all my compostable, like clear baggies for when I package prints, extra thank you postcards, the envelopes I've messed up on in the past that I don't want to deal with, so I just kind of keep it under the stack. Pre-stamped envelopes and pre-inserted thank you cards in there, just so that it's easier to pack orders. My stamps here, stamps here, random things I don't want to deal with up there. I have paper baggies up here and this is where I store like all my other merch. Sticker sheets that are too big for the other drawers. Um, yeah, I just have a lot of washi tape, keychains. This is by Piper Blue. Go check her out. I love her fluffy wall decor. This is a little piece that I framed and hung up. It's by Thanks You. 
which is my friend and she drew this for me for my birthday and it's super cute. This one is by Abby Wren. I'll, I'll put everything in the description in case you want to know where it's from. If you want to know where I keep all the extra merch that I own, I keep it under the table so no one can see it. So this is the stuff that I don't want to deal with, but still has to go somewhere. And now this is my bookcase and this is just where I keep all my extra things. So over here, I just kind of store all my sketchbooks, things I don't want to look at, but you know, just hide it behind the plant because plants make everything look cuter. This section, I have my thermal printer and extra thermal labels. Also, I got these from you guys. I'll link your stuff down below and put it on the screen. But thank you so much for sending me mail. It means the world to me and they're so cute. The next shelf is Housing my Epson 1430. I really strongly dislike this machine. I honestly dislike a lot of machines, but I just don't like dealing with printers. Printers just make me go nuts. So, I mean, I still have it. Maybe it's like a giant paperweight or something, but I don't really use him that often. I have a little scale, my personal finance book that I stopped reading because I got lazy. So the next section houses all of my art books and just books in general. I just like to collect books because they're a great source for inspiration. Um, these drawers just have a lot of stationary things that I don't really want to get into. And down here is just a lot of extra materials I use for packing. Um, I believe one of these houses all of the like happy mail that you guys have been sending me. I keep everything so it goes in here so I can look back on it in the future. Right next to my packing station, I have another table. Um, sometimes when I have shop releases, I get hundreds of orders and it's really hard to pack orders on one table only. So I just have this table as like a floating island in the middle of my studio, which is just extra space for when I want to do that or when I want to stare out the window and work. It's just nice to have your options open to like where you want to sit and get stuff done. I don't have much on this table. I just have a cutting mat, my scanner, a plant, and some pens. And right next to this table, I just have this Ikea trolley. Um, I think almost every artist on this planet has this trolley. It's really handy for just having things that you use frequently to roll around because since my studio is a little bit bigger, it's easy to roll this around if I need the materials on either my like working station or my packing station. It's just really convenient. Currently, I just have a lot of like brushes, pencils, tapes, things that I use frequently to make art on the top. I also have a lot of rulers there because I always use my rulers. But below right now, I just keep a lot of my packaging materials um, just because I don't like the way that boxes look inside of my studio. So I kind of just organized it here so I can get rid of the clutter of boxes. And it looks nicer this way. This is like one of my favorite studio finds of all time because you don't want to worsen your eyes because you're working in pitch black. And for some reason, why don't apartments ever come with lighting for the living room? Like, I don't understand it. And last but not least, this is my main section. This is where all the magic happens. I use this section of my studio to procrastinate, to make artwork, to eat lunch, to do almost anything. Since this is the main part of my studio, I wanted to heavily decorate it to my heart's content. Like while I was decorating this section, I was really nitpicky because this is the section where I'll be sitting at for the longest time when I'm in my studio. So I wanted to really reflect the things I like on it. It's a work in progress. I'm never really pleased with my decorating. And with any studio, I think like it's so cool to see the evolution of things. So this is just how it is now, but in a few months it may be completely different. Right now I'm emphasizing a lot of pink, yellow, and green tones because that is kind of the vibe I'm trying to go for in my apartment. Um, my bedroom is the same color palette, so I'm trying to make it more cohesive in a way. Currently on my wall, I just have a dry bouquet, 
that my boyfriend gave me. I just love drawing flowers. It just looks really pretty. I have this framed piece by Knives Meow. This is one of my prints. Another one of my prints. Um, I have some Polaroids up there. And on this shelf, I just have a lot of little knickknacks. I bought this candy in Taiwan. If you know this candy, please don't cry. Don't be sad. We're, we'll get through it together. This little crochet bee by NK Crochet. I forgot who gave me this, but I'll put it right here. This is a print by Egg Table. A little thrifted frame with just a flower inside of it. A mirror. Hello. Also, I really like this mirror because I could take really cool selfies here now. This is a little crochet flower that NK Crochet gifted me also. Um, this one is by... I want to say her name is Orange Honey something or Fizz It Up. I'll, I forgot her name. This is just a little motivational post-it note that... I mean, I designed this post-it note, but I wrote, No one knows what the right direction is. Choose a path and stick with it. Um, when I wrote this, I was going through a really tough time because I didn't know what was right, what was wrong and I think one of my friends just said like, you know, no one really knows if their decision is right or not You just kind of have to stick with it, like just choose something and go for it This is by Nini Wanted, a little froggo And I have these two big posters right here They're by Livia I love her work, I... I mean, I have two of her posters in my studio, but I always like how loose and textured other people can make their drawings look. I don't know why I draw so geometric and not loose, if that makes sense. But I mean, I guess that's like up to your style and your personality. Um, but I do really want to loosen up because I'm very inspired by these pieces right here. A little Leia Lexin postcard sits up there and a little Knives Meow sticker. I have my calendar right here. Um, I usually have a digital calendar, but this, like having a physical one in front of you, kind of forces you to remind yourself like what day it is because we all know in quarantine, no one knows what day it is anymore. Um, these are just a lot of my tools that I use really frequently for drawing, for making things. My little Amy Ceramics apple vase that I've loved for forever. This is the cutest little planter and honestly I've loved it so much ever since she gifted it to me like I just can't get enough of this little pot. I have my iPad handy, ready for action, a little toast guy um, from Brunch Brothers, I have my XP pen tablet and over here I have Netflix playing. I'm currently watching Dawson's Creek because I don't know it's pretty good. And then below my table, I have this drawer system, which I really like actually. Um, it's really good for hiding all the things I don't want other people to see out in the open. It's just as messy as you would expect it to be. This is my tech drawer, my post marker drawer, and pen drawer. I surely label these. This is my painting drawer, so like paintbrushes, watercolors, whatnots. Acrylics, a lot of sticker stuff, and the last one is just random crafting materials. So yeah, that is that is my studio. I hope you liked it. I worked really hard on it, and I do feel a lot more creatively driven and at home here now. Definitely makes me want to get up every morning to walk into my studio rather than stay in bed all day. I like how it turned out and I would love to know what you think about it too so please leave me a comment down in the comment section also I want to shout out Flexi Spot again for being so cool and for gifting me another table and sponsoring this video so please go check them out their tables are really nice for like home office type of working because usually like you get a little bit fatigued when you're sitting down all day so I like to switch it up, especially when I'm packing orders. I think standing up and packing orders feels so much nicer than sitting down and packing orders. I'll see you in the next video, hopefully. Please subscribe and like and comment if you want to. Bye.